This is the Astro Roach Video Podcast. I'm Randy Roach, and today's podcast is going to be about the singularity. So, what is the singularity, you may be asking yourself? I'm just going to tell you right now. The singularity is the point at which our ability to predict the future breaks down because changes will be happening so fast and they'll be so enormous that uh, it's actually going to be impossible to look beyond that event horizon. And the thing that will be driving the singularity are uh, advances in what's known as GNR. That's genetics, nanotechnology, and robotics. Basically, it's uh, the merging of biotechnology and nanotechnology and artificial intelligence uh, in such a way that uh, we will soon have non-human intelligences that uh, will uh, meet uh, human level intelligence and because a machine can uh, increase its memory and increase its processing speed. Once a machine becomes human level intelligent, it's only a short period of time before they would exceed human level intelligence. And at that point, uh, pretty much all bets are off. So just how likely is this uh, singularity? It. Uh, Kind of depends on who you talk to. I've seen some uh, decent arguments on both sides. Uh, uh, the main argument really is uh, whether it's possible to have uh, sentience in uh, a uh, non living organism or non biological organism. And that uh, is the crux of it. Uh, essentially, if that's possible, then the singularity is almost inevitable. And if it's not, then it will probably never happen. But if the singularity does take place, then uh, it could be very, very bad for uh, humanity, as in uh, the end of humanity, or even uh, the best that we could hope for uh, is probably uh, that we would merge with our technology. And that's not really something that uh, appeals greatly to me, although it does appeal greatly to some people. There are some people known as transhumanists that believe that uh, anything that can be done to enhance the human body or enhance the brain, be it through uh, drugs, genetics, uh, be it uh, your six million dollar man uh, ionic type stuff. Uh, they think that's perfectly fine and uh, is a goal, in fact. And though it's certainly obvious that I could use some enhancement, uh, it's not a goal of mine. I'm going to uh, stick with what uh, little bit nature provided me. Uh, nature's not such a bad thing, actually. In fact, I'm rather fond of it.
So this has kind of been Singularity 101. There's lots of uh, things to uh, cover under this area. Uh, one of the things is uh, immortality, whether that is uh, actually uh, a moral choice to make if uh, science were to provide us with the, uh, with the option. Uh, there's uh, a lot of philosophical issues as to uh, what makes a human being a human, or for that matter, what makes you, you. Uh, because uh, uh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> uh, for example, probably 90% of the cells in your body are not human. They're bacterial cells. Uh, yet, you need those cells in order to uh, digest your food and uh, perform other functions. So, uh, you're really something of uh, a symbiotic relationship there. Uh, uh, well, the list goes on and on, and we have lots of time to cover it. So, uh, tune in next time, and we'll uh, expand our horizons on the singularity.